data analytics, what if analysis, and using scenario manager. Introduction Scenario manager is useful in the cases we have more than two variable insensitivity analysis. Scenario manager creates scenarios for each set of the input values for the variable under consideration. Scenarios help you to explore a set of possible outcomes supporting the following, so varying as many as 32 input sets. Merging the scenarios from several different worksheets or workbooks. If you want to analyze more than 32 input sets and the values represent only one or two variables, you can use data tables, although it is limited to only one or two variables. A data table can include as many different input values as you want. Scenarios A scenario is a set of values that Excel saves and can substitute automatically on your worksheet. You can create and save different groups of values as scenarios on a worksheet and then switch between these scenarios to view the different results. For example, you can have several different budget scenarios that compare various possible income levels and expenses. You can also have different loan scenarios from different sources that compare various possible interest rates and loan tenures. If the information that you want to use in scenario is from different sources, you can collect the information in separate workbooks and then merge the scenarios from the different workbooks into one. After you have all the scenarios you need, you can create a scenario summary report that incorporates information from all the scenarios. That lets you compare the scenarios side by side. Scenario Manager The Scenario Manager is one of the what-if analysis tools in Excel. To create an analysis report with Scenario Manager, you have to follow these steps. Step 1. Define the set of initial values and identify the input cells that you want to vary called the changing cells. Step 2. Create each scenario, name the scenario and enter the value for each changing input cell for that scenario. Step 3. Select the output cells called the result cell that you want to track. This cell contains formulas in the initial set of values. The formulas use the changing input values. The scenario manager creates a report containing the input and the output values of uh, for each scenario. So again, let's repeat the steps. So we have defined a set of initial values and identified the input cells that you want to vary called the changing cells. Then create each scenario, name the scenario, and enter the value for each changing input cell. And then select the output cell called the result cell that you want to track. And this cell contains the formulas in the initial set of values. The formulas use the changing input cells. Okay, so let's continue. Initial values for scenarios. Before you create several different scenarios, you need to define a set of initial values on which the scenarios will be based. The steps for setting up the initial values for scenarios are define the cells that contain the input values, name the input cells appropriately, identify the input cells with constant values, specify the values for the constant inputs, identify the input cells with changing values, Specify the initial values for the changing inputs. Define the cells that contain the results and the result cell contains formula. Name the result cells appropriately and place the formulas in the result cells. So consider the previous example of loan. Now proceed as follows. So let's say let's define loan amount. So this input value is constant for all the scenarios. So name the cell loan amount and specify the value 5 million. So this is the constant value. Define the cells for interest rate, number of payments, and type. 
So payment at the beginning or end. So uh, this is zero or one, zero for, I think it's the end and one for paid at the beginning. So these input values will be changing across the scenario. So these are the values that will be changing. Name the cell interest rate and pairs so number of payments or and then we have type specify the initial values for the analysis in these cells as so for interest rate we use 12 percent the number of payments as 360 and the type as zero then define the cell for the emi or the payment so this is the result value name the cell emi and place the formula in this cell as equal to pmt or payment the interest rate divided by 12 so we're getting the interest rate per month then the number of months then loan amount then just place your zero and then the type so your worksheet looks as shown below so again we have here the loan amount so you have to name this loan underscore amount we have 0 0.12 which is the interest rate so you name this interest rate we have n pair the name this was as n pair the number of payments zero for type and then we have with the formula so this is our constant and these are the changing variables so interest rate divided by 12 and pair loan amount zero and type as you can see the input cells and the result cells are in column c so they are all in column c and the names is given in column d so creating scenarios after setting up the initial values for the scenarios, you can create the scenarios using Scenario Manager as follows. So since we already have this one, so as shown in the previous uh, slide, then what we're going to do now is to create scenarios. So how do we do this? We first click data on the ribbon. Then click the what if analysis in the data tools group and then select Scenario Manager from the drop down list so the scenario manager dialog box appears so this is the scenario manager dialog box and you can observe that it contains a message no scenarios defined choose add to so we have add here you need to create scenarios for each set of changing values in the scenario manager it is good to have the first scenario defined with initial values so these are the initial values as it enables you to switch back to initial values whenever you want while displaying different scenarios. So create the first scenario with the initial values as follows. So click the add button. So we have here the add button. So we click this in the scenario manager dialog box and then the add scenario dialog box appears. So something like this. Under scenario name, type scenario one under changing cells so these are cells that are changing so as so we have said these are the variables so we have here c3 c4 and c5 so absolute values so with the control key press so you can click on the three cells if you want or just type c3 c4 and c5 absolute value the name of the dial box changes to edit scenario edit the text in the comment as initial values select the option prevent changes under protection and then click ok the scenario values dialog box appears so this is the scenario dialog box the initial values that you have defined appear in each of the changing cell boxes so we have the three initial values so we have interest rate 0.12 and pair 360 and 0 so scenario 1 with the initial values is created then create three more scenarios with varying values in the changing cells as follows so again we click add button in the scenario dialog uh, scenario values dialog box so once we click add so the add scenario dialog box appears note that Again, C3, C4, C5 appear in the changing cell box. In the scenario box, you type scenario 2 and edit the text in the comment. So different interest rate. And then select prevent changes 
under protection and then we click OK. The scenario values dialog box appears. The initial values appear in the changing cell. So these are the initial values. Change the value of interest rate to 0.13. So we change this one. And then we click add. So this is what we change in the second scenario. Then again, we click add. So to add scenario dialog box, so the add scenario dialog box appears. So again, we click add. The add scenario dialog box appears. Note that again, C3, C4, C5 appear in the box under changing cells. In the scenario name box, we name scenario 3. Edit the text in the comment box, different number of payments. So with the different number of payments, select prevent changes and then click OK. And then here are the values. Then we change uh, this one to 300. So this is originally 360. We change to 300. And then again, we click add. So add scenario dialog box appears. This one again appears. Note that C3, C4, C5 appear in the changing cells. In the scenario name box, type scenario 4. Edit text in the comment box. Different type of payment. Select prevent changes under protection and click OK. So prevent changes and click OK. The scenario values dialog box appears. And the initial values appear in the changing cell. So the initial values will be placed here. But we have to change now 0 to 1 for type. Then click OK. So that means we're not going to add any more scenarios. So click OK as you have added all the scenarios that you want to wanted to add. The scenario manager dialog box appears and in the box under scenarios, you will find the names of all scenarios that you have created. So these are the names of the scenarios that we have created. Click scenario one. As you are aware, scenario one contains the initial values. Now click summary. The scenario summary dialog box appears. So this is the scenario dialog box. So Excel or the summary dialog box. So Excel provides two types of scenario summary reports. Scenario summary and scenario pivot table. In a scenario summary dialog box, so this is a scenario dialog box, you can find these two reports. Scenario summary and scenario pivot table. Select scenario summary under report and then specify the result cell. So this is where we place the result which is actually at cell C. Six. In the result cell box, select C6. So, result cell box will select C6. Here we have, here uh, that's a place where we have put the PMT function. And then we click OK. Scenario summary report appears in a new worksheet. So, it will create a new worksheet and then the worksheet is named as scenario summary. So, the result is something like this. You can observe the following in the scenario summary report. So this one. Changing cells enlist all the cells used as changing cells. So we have the three. As you have named cells, interest rate, enter, and type, this appear to make the report meaningful. So it's more readable. Otherwise, only cell references will be listed. Result cells. So a while ago, these are the changing cells. Then next we have result cells. So this is the result cells. This place the result cells specified. So that's EMI. Current values. So this current values is the first column and enlist the values of the scenario, which is selected in the scenario manager dialog box before creating the summary report. For all the scenarios you have created, the changing cells will be highlighted in gray. So these are the changing cells. In the EMI row, the result values for each scenario will be displayed. So we have here the values. You can make the report more meaningful by displaying the comments that you added while creating the scenarios. So click the plus button. So I'll show you in the other slide. So we have here the plus button here. That means we can expand this. 
So if you click the plus button to the left of the row, so that's uh, that's plus a while ago, containing the scenario names, these comments for the scenarios appear in the row under the scenario names. So under scenario names, then it will show the comments. Scenarios from different sources. Suppose you get the scenarios from three different sources and you need to prepare the scenario summary report in a master workbook. You can do this by merging the scenarios from different workbooks into the master workbook. Follow these steps given below. First, assume that the scenarios are in the workbooks. Bank 1 scenarios, bank 2 scenarios, and bank 3 scenarios. Open the three workbooks. So these three should be open. Open the master workbook also and in which we have the initial values. So these are the initial values. Click data, then what if analysis and then scenario manager in the master workbook and then the scenario manager dialog box appear. As you can observe, there are no scenarios as you have not yet added any. So instead of clicking add now, we click merge so why merge why merge because uh, the scenarios will be from different sources so the merge scenario dialog box appear so merge scenarios dialog box and then as you can see under merge scenarios from your from uh, merge scenarios from you have two boxes so one and two for book and sheet you can select specific worksheet from a specific workbook that contains the scenarios which you want to add to your results. Click the drop down arrow of book to see the workbooks. So click the drop down arrow of book and you will see here all of the opened workbooks. So the corresponding workbook should be open to appear in the list. So, so if you click on book, so select the book, Bank 1 Scenarios. Bank 1 sheet is displayed at the bottom of the dialog box. So we selected Bank 1 Scenarios and then, so for sheet, we have here Bank 1. The number of scenarios found on source sheet is displayed. So there are two scenarios on this sheet. So we have created two scenarios in that sheet. Then we just click OK. So the scenario manager dialog box appears. The two scenarios that were merged into the master workbook will be listed under scenario. So we have bank one scenario one and bank one scenario two. So if you notice, when we added or merged, it says here that there are two scenarios. That's why we have here two scenarios here. Click again the merge button. And then, so the merge button then the merge scenarios dialog box appears now select bank two scenarios from the drop down list in the the book box so the merge scenarios dialog box appears now this time around if we click on this we select bank two scenarios so bank two sheet is displayed so that's the sheet name at the bottom of the dialog box and then the number of scenarios found on source sheet are displayed so that means there are two scenarios on this source sheet and again we click OK so after clicking that the scenario manager dialog box appears again and the four scenarios that were merged into the master workbook are listed under scenario so we have one two three four okay click the merge button again and then the merge scenarios dialog box appears now select bank three scenarios from the drop down list in the book box so bank three scenarios in the book box then here we can select bank three so bank three sheet is displayed for this one at the bottom of the dialog box the number of scenarios is found so there's only one scenario for bank three so sheet and will be displayed so we just click ok so the scenario manager dialog box appear again and the five scenarios so two from bank one scenario two from bank two scenario and one from bank three so the five scenarios that were merged into the master workbook will be listed under scenarios 
now you have all the required scenarios to produce the scenario summary report. So click the summary button. So the summary button. And the scenario summary dialog box appears. So the scenario dialog box. Select scenario summary. In the result cell box type C6. So what is C6? That's the address of this. The result. Okay, so scenario summary and the result cell. Or the result cell. The scenario summary report appears on the new worksheet in the master workbook. So this is the result. Displaying scenarios. Suppose you are presenting your scenarios and you would like to dynamically switch from one scenario to another and display the set of input values and result values of the corresponding scenario. We click data, what if analysis and scenario manager and from the data tools group so from the data tools group and then the scenario manager dialog box appears the list of scenarios appears so these, these are the list of scenarios or a list of scenarios then select the scenario you want to display let's say for example I would like to display this one so I click on bank to scenario then the values on the worksheet are updated on the selected scenario so if I click on this this will be updated so if you notice it is originally 47,000 then here it becomes 43,000 so you just click and then show okay scenario pivot table report you can see the scenario report in the form of a pivot table also click the summary button in the scenario manager then the scenario summary dialog box appears so this one so select the scenario pivot table under report type then type c6 as the result cell so this is the result cell this is what we're computing the scenario table report appears on a new worksheet so that ends uh, my video lecture for a scenario manager uh, part as a part of what if analysis in Microsoft Excel. Thank you very much for viewing this video.